a lot of people so I've just been to Asda um, to pick up some um, beer got a Stellar on uh, £18 for uh, sorry eight, £10 for 18 cans at the minute um, so I had a look at the game section I thought uh, maybe I'd pick up FIFA 12 if they had it for like under 30 quid or whatever but unfortunately it was like £42 ain't paying that so um, what I did come out with was Deuce X Human Revolution for it says £20 on the uh, box lots of security tags on there for some reason surprising to see a actual sealed game on a shelf in Asda that's uh, very rare probably why it's plastered so much in these security things that go all the way around um, yeah so I took it to the counter to pay for it and she asked for £17.97 so uh, you can see on the receipt there if I just focus £17.97 so uh, yeah pretty pleased with that so uh, I'll be uh, opening this up now um, and uh, talking a bit about do sex now the first um, do sex game I actually had that uh, for the PC when it first came out um, it was an awesome game um, groundbreaking at the time it was a sort of first person shooter slash RPG with a uh, you know it didn't have a linear storyline like most other games at the time so you had different endings uh, different consequences for different actions etc and um, there was then a sequel Juice X Invisible War um, but that was a lot more linear uh, mainly because it was pretty much designed for the uh, Xbox I think what's um, interesting about this one though I've noticed is that it's actually uh, developed by Square Enix who um, do the Final Fantasy games the last Final Fantasy game I played was uh, 13 I uh, wasn't impressed with that at all but um, I can't really see how they can fuck this one up and uh, obviously it says it's got 10 out of 10 by this game on the front um, and uh, I've only read positive reviews about it so uh, you can see there's your disc where all the fun is uh, so Um, there's some, there's a manual, some sort of registration card there. I'm not sure what you're registering for. Um, there's no actual multiplayer for this game. I've noticed. Um, it does surprise me in a way, but then it doesn't. You know, I wasn't picking it up expecting it to have a multiplayer mode, but I'd, you'd, you'd think they'd just bodge something together. You know, in the days of Call of Duty and Halo, you think they'd bodge something together and you know, just as an added bonus. So I think that's a bit lazy, really. But um, I'm I'm not a big fan of online gaming, to be honest. It's just not my sort of thing. I'd rather get my teeth into a good story, which hopefully this should be. So might do a review of it in the future, but uh, hopefully I'll be enjoying it.